So let's say we want to make a whole human. So I'm going to go, go into edit mode, hit control N, grab a new Z-sphere, drag it out of my canvas, go into edit mode. Now, because humans are generally uh, X symmetrical or symmet symmetrical across the X axis, I'm going to hit X, which just means transform, activate symmetries, toggled on, just toggle it on with X and then it's across the X axis. So now when I hover over my Z-sphere, I've got two cursors. And if I go to the very top, it's going to snap into one cursor and that means I will drag one out. So here's my chest, here's kind of, well, here's my chest, here's my hips. If I go to the side of my hips, I'll drag out maybe to where my uh, great trochanter is, let's say. And then if I drag out another one, that'll uh, drag out another Z-sphere, which I can hit W and just move those all the way down. Now we already know that if we hit Q, go into draw mode and tap right in the middle, there's our knee. And if we want to, we can hit W and kind of move those out move these ankles back so we can kind of kind of give them a little bit of balance in here. We can push his, we can actually make this his belly, hit Q and go to the very top and it'll snap. Go ahead and drag out another one. Kind of pull this back and let's say this is his chest and we can put shoulders on the side of here so let's go to the side. Now if we want to, uh, we can hold down, sh we can start dragging and hold down shift. And that'll snap it to the original size and then we hit W and move these down. Now generally speaking your wrists are more narrow than your shoulders, so we can go ahead and scale down these last ones. And then hit Q, tap, here's an elbow, W, move those back. And if you want to, you can go ahead and rotate out your arms. And if you want to do hands, we can do just like we did. We're going to make a mitten first, so we're going to drag out the palm. And then on this back one here, we're going to drag out a thumb starter. And then drag out another one, hit W to go into move mode, hit Q, hit W, move this back. Hit Q again, we're going to make one, two, three, four, and then on these I'm going to go one, and these ones are going to drag out a little bit smaller, two, three, four, and then W, I'm going to move these out. And remember to make your brush size smaller if it's pulling out more than one, just go ahead and hit S, tap S, and then make it smaller so it just grabs that one, three, four. And because the last Z-sphere was smaller, it's going to get a natural taper in our fingers, which is what we want. You can go ahead and reposition these knuckles, if that's your thing. Now, if you're dragging these around and they start disappearing or doing weird, like, shading stuff, um, just hit A, and that'll give you a preview of what's going on. So it may or may not mess you up. There's some really fancy things you can do with Z-spheres which I'll, maybe I'll cover a little bit of them, but generally speaking, I just use these spheres to give me a base mesh I can start sculpting on. It's all about sculpting with me. Um, if you want to get fancy with these spheres, there's a lot of cool tricks you can do. Uh, I may or may not cover much of them, because again, I don't do it that much, but feel free to go and track those down. So now that we've got our fingers on there, I'm going to hit Q very quickly, tap, 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 tap. We've got our knuckles in there. Give this guy kind of a natural hang to his fingers. I'm going to kind of bend those up a little bit. And there we go. And, you know, fingers kind of come towards each other. And this pinky needs to be a little smaller. It's going to hit E to scale. I'm going to scale right down the bone, and that's going to scale everything after it. Or you can just go one by one and scale these down. Kind of up to you. And then you can use W or rotate to kind of reposition these things. And again, you can grab the bone if that makes more sense. Uh, the thumb is pretty big, and it's way back there. So I'm going to drag these forward a little bit. I can just drag this palm back here. So now if I hit A, we've got little finger mesh. Now it's not perfect, you can drag these around or you can just go into Adaptive Skin, make it a DynaMesh and then just start sculpting just to kind of get a better look. So I'm going to hit A and then hit Q. Go ahead and drag at the very top, drag at the very top again, W to move this up and if you want to you can just kind of scale this out and that'll be its head. There you go. Um, hit A to toggle that on and off and then for feet again just Q, move that out and there you go.